find the first three terms of x minus 2y raised to the eighth power. We'll have a few methods to get to our answer. First method, the one they want you to use, the binomial theorem. Now, what's the binomial theorem state? If I have a plus b to the n, there's going to be a recipe for expanding. First, I want to use the binomial coefficients. So if I have the binomial coefficient, n choose i, it's going to be defined as n factorial over i factorial times n minus i factorial. Note, i plus n minus i is going to be equal to n. Then, n factorial is just defined as we take all the numbers, 1, 2, 3, up through n, multiply them together. With the binomial coefficients, we can now state our rule. So what well, a plus b to the n is going to be equal to a to the n plus n choose 1 times a to the n minus 1 times b to the 1. So note the term that's in the bottom is going to be the exponent of b, and it's going to be what we subtract from n over the a. Then I have n choose 2, a to the n minus 2 times b squared, and so on. Now, in our special case, we're looking at a equals x, b equals minus 2y, n equals h. So, we write out our first three terms of x to the eighth power plus a choose 1 times x to the 7 times minus 2y plus a choose 2 times x to the 6 times minus 2y squared. If I go for the binomial coefficients, we have a choose 1. It's going to be 8 factorial over 1 factorial times 7 factorial. 1 plus 7 equals 8. And then we just write out the factorials. So 8 factorial is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 8. 7 factorial is 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 7. And then 1 factorial is just 1 itself. I cancel, we get an 8. So 8 choose 1 is going to be 8. 8 choose 2, same idea. We'll have 8 factorial over 2 factorial times 6 factorial. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8, and then we just multiply. So I have 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 8. 2 factorial is 1 times 2, 6 factorial, 1, 2, 3, up through 6. We can cancel, so we'll get rid of everything from 6 on down. And then I can divide the 2 into 8 to give me a 4, and then a 28 comes out. So combining everything into this expression here, what do we have? We're going to have x to the 8th. We'll have a minus 2 times 8 gives me a minus 16, x to the 7th times y, plus a 28 times a 4, it's going to give me 112, and then that's going to be by x to the 6th times y squared. So our answer is going to be right here. Another method, counting. Let's take x minus 2y, multiply it by itself 8 times, then instead of taking the full expansion, we just want to be clever about counting to pick off the three terms that we want. Now, the way I should think about this multiplication here, what are we doing? Well, as I go through each parentheses, we're making a choice of either x or minus 2y. Do that for each set of parentheses, and then consider all them possibilities. Take all products, and then sum. That's how we compute that. Now, let's think about x to the eighth power. What are the choices I would make of x or minus 2y? from each set of parentheses to get x to the eighth. Well, I'd have to choose all x. So the idea would be is if I chose a minus 2y at any point, the highest power I can get is going to be x to the seventh because we only have eight sets of parentheses. So there's only one way to get x to the eighth power. How about x to the seventh times minus 2y? Well, if I chose minus 2y from the first set, I'm forced to choose x's for all the rest. If we choose minus 2y for the second set of parentheses, that has to be an x, and then all the rest have to be x's also. So the idea is going to be you're going to go through parentheses by parentheses, choose your minus 2y. That's going to fix the rest as x. So we're only going to have eight ways to get this term here. Now, this is what your binomial coefficient is doing. So a choose one says there are going to be eight ways to choose one item from a set of eight. Okay, let's take a look at our last term. x to the sixth 
times minus 2y squared. So the idea is going to be we're going to want to pick minus 2y twice from our sets of parentheses. So we have to be a little bit more clever about how we go through that. So this is just bookkeeping. Now, let's see what's going on. Suppose I choose a minus 2y from our first set of parentheses. How many ways are there going to be to choose another minus 2y? So I only want exactly one more minus 2y. So there are going to be seven spots left, and we're going to choose exactly one from them seven spots. And then we fix the rest as x. So that means I have seven choices. Then, if I put an x in slot 1, we're going to put a minus 2y in slot 2. How many choices do I have to put in another minus 2y? Well, there are going to be six slots left over, so we'll have six choices. You put in your minus 2y, and then the rest are going to be forced to be x. So I get a 6. How about if I put x here, x here, minus 2y in the next one? Then we're only going to have five spots to put another minus 2y. So we get a 5. And then as you follow that line of thinking out, you'll know you're going to take this all the way down to 1 as you consider all possibilities. So the number of ways to get exactly 2 minus 2 y's is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, which equals 28. Again, this is what your binomial coefficient's doing. There are going to be 28 ways to choose two items from a set of 8. Last method, Pascal's triangle. So this is more or less the binomial theorem. We're just going to have another way of computing the binomial coefficients. So we can use this as a check on our work. Now, how do we get Pascal's triangle? The outside of the triangle is going to be filled in with 1s. If I want to get the inside, I'm just going to take the term I'm interested in, add the two terms above it. So 10 is equal to 6 plus 4. 21 is equal to 6 plus 15. 56 is 35 plus 21 thing to note, if I'm taking something to the nth power, I figure out what row I'm using just by looking for n in this second column here. So we're interested in the eighth power, so I look for the eight. Then if I want the first three terms, the binomial coefficients are going to be 1, 8, and 28. And then we just apply binomial theorem with these numbers in for your binomial coefficients. So we would have x to the eighth plus 8 times x to the 7th times minus 2y plus 28x to the 6th minus 2y squared. And then that gets us to the answer that we already seen.